Thank you, Mike. Okay, let's, let's move on. Yeah, let's move along to the edifiers. So, and welcome in One Stop Center. You had a chance to turn it. Do you want to make more comments for Patrick on there? Turn it over to Patrick. He's yeah, gonna be, you want to make He's comments. gonna be very quick. Very, very brief. Quick. Yeah. We were able to, many of us, walk together through that area downstairs in the New Walkman One Stop Center. I just want to give you a real high level kind of organizational plan for what we're going to be doing down there. You probably already know uh, many pieces of this, but just in case, this is not really the final finished version. This is one of the drawings of uh, several months ago. It has changed slightly, so we'll see it in July. Uh, effectively, the goals of Walkman One Stop is to facilitate a seamless student enrollment experience into, through, and, and then out of the institution. We'll do so, and our goal is to maintain the highest level of customer service to our students and our community. And we intend to provide this service to the entire student community in person, on the phone, and in all of our online environments as well. These are the areas effectively involved in the Welcome One Stop. So we'll be bringing all of these areas together. In many ways they are, but in some respects they're scattered throughout parts of the campus. So admissions and recruitment have been historic uh, neighbors in the B-Wing. But we'll be adding in cashiering operations. Counseling and advising will continue to be our neighbor going forward, but a little bit closer. Financial aid records, uh, some inbound call center operations. We'll provide general information to all students and anybody that comes into the Walking One Stop Center. Our operation will be uh, primarily Monday through Thursday. We're going to implement this summer when we move the new 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. hours and Friday 7.30 to 4.30 p.m. All of this information as it is today will be available uh, in some new ways uh, as we move into our new site this summer with 24-7 access to the Beaver College website for information. We'll monitor these hours of operation. Uh, we'll, we'll do student traffic counts and surveys to post student visits to the Walking One Stop Center to confirm that we're serving their needs. This is a, a little bubble map of where we were uh, last fall before we started renovations earlier into the last summer. So uh, this is, you know, the red is the testing service area down to the library, green payment, and then the blue admissions and advising. And the bookstore was down in the basement, the lower level. When we come back after we move this summer, uh, most everything that we're talking about in this area will be very compact in that corner of the campus over there with the blue dots. It's a very simple representation of what we're doing. Yeah. We've been doing lots of cross-training. I did reference that downstairs a little bit. Uh, for the last couple of months, actually almost since past summer, We've been, we started last summer with kind of a weekly one hour kind of get your feet wet to this process. Uh, since March and April, we've been doing ongoing, depending on the staff member, one hour up to four, sometimes up to six hours out, sitting with your new neighbors in their areas today as they cross train across financial aid, cashiering, admissions, records, and such. We will be uh, continuing to use uh, some customer service training. We'll do some student surveys with our new CRM tool. That's one of the side benefits of that tool that we're using on our recruitment we, uh, put potential. We have some tools in there to do student surveys. We're going to be doing some improvements with some PeopleSoft dashboards for our staff to have ease of flow within the different screens of PeopleSoft or financial aid on one side. We'll have them all in one place. We'll be advantaging a technology called SARS Good that we currently use in advising and counseling to schedule student appointments. We'll be using that more robustly. And then, of course, our new Salesforce TargetX uh, customer management relations system uh, to track student appointments and their, and their conversations with us. At some point, we'll also begin to use ImageNow a little bit more as a tool we already own and helping to kind of cut down on paper use. But that's a future endeavor for us. That's about it. All right. Questions, Good. comments? One okay. question. Yeah. Yes. Um, technology, is it mobile ready now or? Certain pieces are, but PeopleSoft is mobile ready for what the students need to do for scheduling their own courses. There's some of the online app for the college CLC app for standard students. They can log in, they can register their courses, they can search for the class schedule. They can do a number of things right now with mobile PeopleSoft. Mm -hmm. um, the SARS grid does have mobile capability. We haven't purchased that portion of that yet. And Tina Carpenter, the dean for advising and counseling, has been reviewing that software possibility with that vendor to see what the final cost would be to turn out of the phone mobile app so the student could virtually schedule their own advising appointments. Mm -hmm. That's a, a future iteration of what we have today. And the CRM tool that is mobile friendly. We're nearing installation of that probably May June. It's really a great change to be So any other questions? Oh, yes. So they'll be able to schedule a counseling meeting online. Not today. But when they, when we get there I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. So we'll we'll that's on the horizon. That is on the horizon. Yeah, hold you to it. All right. <laughs> All right. You can.